we're now into the second tab called growing area. The first question here on my screen is a template. So if you've done previous footprints, rather than having to enter data for a second time, you can just choose from a drop down list. But for today, I'll start from scratch. So in my last tutorial for step one, we talked about the yield for the footprint. And at that time, we said we must link the yield to the associated growing area. And I chose to do everything based on one hectare. So that's what I enter here for the crop area. The next questions at this step all relate to the soil. For each question, it's a drop down list. And you choose, for example, soil texture, fine, medium, or coarse. I'll choose medium here. And the I button gives you some descriptions of these definitions. Secondly, soil organic matter. Again, choose a range. So I'll choose a fairly typical range between 1.72 and 5.16% soil organic matter. And then soil moisture. Simple, either moist or dry. So we'll choose moist here. And drainage. So we'll choose poor drainage. And lastly, pH. I'll choose a range between 5.5 and 7.3 pH. And those data on soil immediately provide footprint results here on the right hand side. And you can see these are calculated per hectare and per ton based on the previous finished product weight of 45 tonnes we entered at step one. So the last thing to do on this step is to label the growing area. The tool automatically calculates looking at the one hectare, medium soil texture, soil moisture, so that's fine. So I'm happy, so I'll save and continue to the next step.